semiotics is about novelties, about unpredictability, about creation, something what uh, we cannot predict. I am Katja Valli. I am the program coordinator of the Semiotics Master Program here in the University of Tartu. It started in the year 2008 with the support of the Estonian Ministry of Education and Research. And uh, first students were admitted in the study year of 2009-2010. We have a very uh, international student body. We have students from the United States of America, Mexico, different countries in Latin America, Chile, Colombia, Brazil. Indonesia, Iran, Egypt, uh, Italy, Serbia, Ukraine. We also uh, admit students with different educational backgrounds from different fields, anthropology, linguistics, uh, literary studies. And uh, also in our uh, study modules we try to keep that interdisciplinarity. We have modules in uh, biosemiotics, sociosemiotics and cultural semiotics and also a kind of an introductory base module where we introduce the methodology of semiotic analysis and history of semiotics. In Tartu we have university now already soon 400 years. Uh, Tartu is one of major intellectual centers in Northern Europe and uh, as we as Estonia is situated simultaneously in many borders. This is a meeting place, several different schools also within our field in semiotics, which means uh, we historically have inherited uh, a place which is rich already. Tartu Moscow School of Semiotics, established by Yuri Lotman, made Tartu in this field famous. Jakob von Uxkul, who has studied in Tartu University, uh, is related to another approach to semiotics, the more biological one. In addition, here we have uh, American aspect via long-term good relationships with Thomas Seberg and his approach. So, Russian, German, American and local roots all mixed, not only mixed, communicating to each other. For understanding competences of semiotician on job market. We have before understand what is semiotic understanding of culture in general. And from the point of view of our school, uh, culture is some hierarchy of different cultural languages, different science systems. And uh, most universal feature of all cultures, universal feature of cultures is uh, ability of self-description. Every culture has some skills for self-description and uh, each culture has many, many languages for self-description on different levels. But from other side, every culture is unique and uh, uh, needs own analysis, own understanding, specific understanding. This means ad hoc understanding. And the main value of uh, education of semioticians uh, is that uh, they can understand this universal side of culture and unique side of culture and uh, create some type of analyzability in all situations. I was in semiotic when I was in the cathedral. And then I was in the name of the semiotic millest mul on mitmeid projekte, mis tegelikult kasvas ka välja ikkagi kunstiteksti analüüsi viisidest ja minu esimene projekt oli üldse siis luule lingvistiline analüüs ja sealt kasvas välja ka 
see nime teema. Ja hiljem sai sellest üldistavam teema seotud just mütoloogilise mõtlemisega, nii nagu Tartumas ka koolkonnas seda on käsitletud. Üheks teemaks, mille üle tahaks mõtiskleda, on ikkagi, kuidas suhestuvad siis erinevad humanitaardissipliinid, mis suurivad kultuuri üksteisega. Semiootika on väga tihedasti seotud ikkagi hermeneutika fenomenoloogiaga. My name is Silver Rattasepp. I'm an Estonian and I'm a PhD student in the Department of Semiotics in the University of Tartu. Well, we humans live in a world that is full of meaning. We can never escape the interpreting and giving meaning to everything. So semiotics is the study of meaning, which means that uh, it will just help the world to open up in its fullness, in its uh, in its endless diversity and endless uh, sources of meaning and possibilities of interpretation. My name is Davi. I am from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil and I uh, the second year master student in Tartu. The two things that I find most interesting is that uh, they have a, a really interdisciplinary approach. And the second thing is that you have uh, independence and you are encouraged by your supervisor to study something that you actually like. Mainly I study uh, political semiotics uh, from the point of view of analysis of discourse. And right now I'm studying a multicultural discourse in the Brazilian context. It feels like I'm being part of, of a historical event. It's, uh, it, it's, so, it's so interesting that you come to a place that has such a big tradition in the discipline and you actually meet those guys and you have classes with them and you talk to them and you feel like you're part of this community and it's, uh, it's cool because uh, it's, it's like something new and, and uh, historical at the same time. Uh, I'm Tom and from the US, from Minneapolis and uh, I'm a second year student in the master's program. As an undergraduate uh, in the US, I had one course in semiotics and um, I wanted an opportunity to study it more in depth. And uh, as far as I could find from my researches, the program in Tartu uh, was the only one that was taught in English. The department is marked by a very open attitude towards different kinds of uh, intellectual pursuits. So while it has a firm grounding in traditional semiotics, it's also really looking to innovate within the field and to make connections between semiotics and other disciplines. I think it's a, an interesting place because it combines kind of traditional established techniques and methods with, with newer innovations. One thing that's really great is uh, the variety of people that are here, um, the variety of students. Mostly there are people from so many different countries and coming from different academic backgrounds. And so discussions during seminar can be very fruitful. My name is Nelly. Um, I'm from Estonia and I study semiotics for, I have been studying semiotics for seven years now. I did my bachelor thesis a master's thesis and now I'm doing my PhD. I'm a first year PhD student. I study soul semiotics. I do research on that. Soul semiotics is communication on animal level. It's creative. You get inspired every time you go to a lecture, every time to, you go to a seminar. Afterwards you feel inspired. You want to keep on working. You want to read. You want to study. Basically you get inspired to do anything and you get support for that. Hi, my name is Tyler Bennett. I'm studying semiotics here for my second year in the master's program in Tartu. For us, for semioticians in Tartu at least, uh, signs themselves, their primary characteristic is that of plurality. 
When we define a sign relation, whether it be iconic, indexical, or symbolic, or whatever system you want to use, we're defining a relation, an undetermined relation between two parts, in the sense that we don't address the specific meaning, but rather the constitution of the relation, um, which leaves the actual meaning or the interpretation still plural. And the system of semiotic modeling derives from this plurality as well. Um, in this sense, semiotics is always changing and always flexible and always observer dependent and developed in the presence. And so when I say that the question of what is semiotics and what is my semiotics are interrelated, this is essentially what I mean. Tartu is a really great city to live in uh, for students. There's always something going on. And um, you know, every time you go out, you're likely to run into someone you know. So it's a really great sense of community here. Uh, also, it's quite affordable for students. So it definitely makes it um, a fun, exciting life.